Hey, how's everyone doing? Ocean City. Hey, uh, Ocean City, Maryland or Ocean City, New Jersey? Привет. <laughs> okay, Jack Reaper, you got me. That's uh that's Japanese script, but <laughs> all right. Anyway, um, William Friedman from the Cross Country Local here in uh, Linden, New Jersey, um, on the New Jersey Transit train uh, that I'm taking from uh, from the Prudential Center in Newark. Yeah, home of uh, the New Jersey Devils and no longer the the uh, the New Jersey Nets or the New York Liberty. Seton Hall basketball, though. Yes, the Northeast Corridor, baby breath. Which is a, a lovely flower, I think very much underrated. Belongs in every bouquet. Um, so anyway, yeah, it's a nice commuter rail train. And uh, it's a nice, comfortable way to get where I'm going. Now again, the Cross Country Local, for those of you who don't know, is an expedition to get from the Atlantic to the Pacific across the entire United States using only local mass transit. And, you know, the occasional regional train or bus, you know, uh, like this mode that gets people from the New York gravity well to the Philadelphia gravity well. But, uh, anyway, I'm taking this to... Okay. Rahway. Oh, there's a prison there. In fact, I think there's pretty much a prison at every stop on this train. Rahway, Newark. <laughs> anyway, um, it, this is uh, going to be nice, long, comfortable. One of the few people know it's a flower. As my wife is fond of saying, I think he came out of a can this way. Cynics joined. I prefer to be a skeptic than a cynic, but live how you want to live. This is America, land of the free. Or wherever you are, I don't know. This is a global community, and I am a digital nomad. Yeah, for the next nine and a half weeks, I'll be riding the trains and buses. London. Oh, mind the gap. I uh, once worked on assignment um, in... Uh, uh, well, I, 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 I was a, a financial journalist, and I reported on some going-ons in the square mile, and my uh, magazine, Chemical Week, put me up at a uh, bed and breakfast in Bloomsbury. Notice I did not say bed and breakfast and closet and toilet, just <laughs> bed and breakfast. Um, but uh, some good pubs around Gooch Street, so uh, very happy, and... Uh, and, and speaking as a former Washingtonian, please take this as fulsome praise. Uh, the British Museum kicks the Smithsonian's ass. Yeah, okay, we've, we've got the space shuttle in the spirit of St. Louis and, and uh, Dorothy's golden slippers and Archie Bunker's chair and all that. Yeah, Kusha is, uh, is that uh, Eastern Russia uh, near Kamchatka. Uh, my my favorite memory of um, of the British Museum was having to squeeze past all the tourists who were gathered around the Rosetta Stone. Oh yeah, the Rosetta Stone's there, right at the front door. And past, uh, I went into the Nereid Temple. I was looking around, and I'm thinking, wow, there's absolutely nothing that's going to impress me more than this. And then I went upstairs to uh, an exhibit that I think is now in uh, the British Library. There in this in this um, glass case were two handwritten uh, manuscripts. Uh, on the left had in the author's handwriting, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. In the same glass case on the right hand side was a scrap of notebook paper and again in the author's original hand, there are places I remember in my life though some have changed. Yeah, that, that impressed me more than frankly any exhibit I've seen before or since. So, uh, 
Yeah, now Philadelphia's got some great museums. New York's got some great museums. Um, D.C., where I spent a long time, it's got some great ones. But that will always be my, my greatest memory. Um, I'll tell you about a trip I had to uh, Madrid sometime. But, um, yeah, that, that, that'll be for another uh, broadcast. Right now, I just want to ask everyone to please follow me here on Scope. And please invite other people to follow me here on Scope. Natural History Museum uh, in the, the Washington one or, or the uh, or the New York one. Yeah, well, they're both great. Oh, oh, London. <laughs> I'm going to have to get back there. Uh, if that will be my next trip, um, I promised my son a, a, a trip to um, uh, uh, to to the UK. We we want to at least step foot in Wales. Uh, I've got some friends in, uh, in, in uh, Glastonbury. Yeah, they're funky, neo-pagan types. Uh, great people, though. And uh, also want to go to, uh, to Scotland, specifically to the uh, island of, of Islay for uh, obvious reasons, the Lagavulin tour, tour. Yes, I must visit Cambridge. Um, and uh, you, you, I'm, best, I'm betting you went to university there. Yeah. No, sadly. It's all right. I also did not go for, to a great school. Hi, from Russia. Okay, we're talking about great museums, and uh, I have a friend who speaks very highly of the Hermitage in St. Petersburg. Am I Armenian? No, my name ends in A-N, Friedman, but it's actually a Yiddish name. Uh, it means uh, peaceful person. And of course, uh, well, on my mother's side, uh, the family name is Wexler, which means money changer, which is probably closer to, <laughs> to our heritage. Here. Uh, anyway, I'm... Uh, off on a trek across America on mass transit. Please uh, follow me here on Scope and on Twitter, hashtag XC Local, X Ray Charlie Local. Um, you know, I haven't gotten WhatsApp, I have WhatsApp loaded and I will be using that to generate some uh, original content that will be um, exclusive to WhatsApp, but I haven't figured out yet how I do that. This is uh, the first day of a nine and a half week journey. Um, also, if you're on Facebook, please like my Facebook page. Uh, hash, it's, it's just Cross Country Local. When did you last visit London? Uh, um, I'm, I'm on Skype by William Friedman. And uh, let's see, I was, well, it, it's probably been close to 10 years before I was, or since I've been in, uh, in London. Um, and uh, let's see, I. I, I Stayed at uh, the the at at the Kensington Plaza, I think, and uh, most of my work was uh, was on the south side of the river. Yes, that's me. And uh, the the first time I was there was 1998. So, yeah, Spice Girls. Uh, 24 7 yeah i'm sorry 90 yeah it was a 98 or 97 but whatever the spice girls were just breaking and you couldn't listen to two straight songs in any pub with, with without uh if you want to be my father you got hands. couldn't get home fast enough <laughs> and then they followed me all right chris rock had the <laughs> yeah yeah uh, oh yeah well the Back then, uh, the dollar was also a whole lot stronger against sterling, so that's changed too. The prices have changed incredibly. Well, it's a pleasure meeting Chris uh, Sakrasov. Okay, absolutely. Uh, give me a call. And uh, so, uh, anyway, so we, we've got Russia, we've got the UK. Uh, any of uh, any fellow Americans uh, tuning in right now?
Well, if you are, uh, same here. The Spice Girls <laughs> moved to Tampa for a while. Yeah, I've I've got a, a a brother down in Florida now. At oh Tampa, you know I, I'm a huge Walking Dead fan, and so uh, I, it, I I heard about what what happened at ZombieCon. Uh, hopefully, uh, you and your friend are seeing. Um, I mean, I'm totally constantly online, uh, with, so I'm, I'm always reachable from Skype. Uh, I'm always reachable by Skype. Um, but for, if, if you hadn't heard the news for, out of Tampa, um, there was I, uh, I I don't know how uh, I, I don't know how this enters somebody's mind, but somebody shot up a zombie fan convention. Um, in, in Tampa, that there were all these people who were big fans of, uh, of Night of the Living Dead and uh, The Walking Dead and, and 28 Days Later and uh, franchises like that uh, had this convention in Tampa and somebody actually brought a gun and shot it. No, you can't call me because I am on, uh, uh, I'm, I'm on uh, uh, Periscope right now. Yesterday? Yeah, yeah, that happened yesterday. Um, killed one person. Um, a sick joke would be, I hope they, uh, I hope they shot him in the head, so he doesn't come back. But uh, there is somebody dead and four injured people. But you know, in America, we've got 310, 312 million people, and we can't agree on a way to keep this from happening again. I mean, I don't know what we're missing. Uh, I, I mean. Surely there's got to be some kind of obvious solution that we're just looking right past to keep us from, from killing each other on shooting sprees. I don't know. Um, on a more practical note, if you find your, uh, yourself uh, between uh, St. Clairville, St. Clairsville, Ohio, and, uh, and Cambridge, Ohio, as opposed to Cambridge, England, uh, there's nothing in Cambridge, Ohio, except uh, Colgate Palmolive. Uh, of course, I recognize the Armenian genocide. I, I mean, that. I, I also recognize uh, Jerusalem as the capital of Israel, and I recognize Cuba as being a country, and I recognize Iran as being a country. <laughs> uh, we, we are not our government policies. So, uh, anyway. Uh, the, if, if anyone can can help me figure out how to get from St. Clairsville to uh, yes, I recognize it. I said yes. Um, but uh, yeah. Anyway, politics aside, and let's keep politics aside uh, because th thank you and. Uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to be going through sections of this country that don't agree with me politically, so I want to stay as apolitical as possible in these fields, uh, in, 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 these, uh, in these updates. Um, so, uh, anyway, uh, if anyone can help me get from St. Clairsville to Cambridge, Ohio, uh, through a, a church bus or a community bus, or uh, I've got a presentation I can make to, um, to civic organizations and people uh, can in, in exchange for having me as an invited guest pick me up at the bus stop and drop me off where I'm going to be sleeping so I'll accept that um, and then I've got a big gap in uh, western New Mexico eastern a Arizona south end of the states uh, so let me know but anyway I see I'm losing my audience so I'm going to sign off here and uh, when I I I I don't I don't know when it was. I should know. Why am I traveling across the U.S.? Possibly, uh, partially to prove that it can be done, and uh, also to write a book, and also to uh, 1915. That's great to know. Uh, I'm very sorry. Um, I I do have Armenian friends. Uh, we're not talking about the Armenian genocide. Uh, you know, congratulations on your hundredth year anniversary. Uh, um, too soon. Anyway, uh, the um, uh, uh, 
I'll, uh, you know, I've, if, if you can give me a, a, a hand getting a, a cross country, that's great. I've got a GoFundMe site if you care to uh, provide some uh, some material comfort. <laughs> yeah. And uh, anyway, uh, all the best. Uh, I will. Uh, I'll, I'll be updating frequently. So please follow me here on Scope, as well as on uh, Twitter. All right, uh, John. I'm going to have to block you if you ask me about our, uh, how America perceives Armenia one more time. That's not what this is about. All right, take care. Bye bye, everyone.